Howdy, folks. Uh, Chris the Carpenter here, rocketbrandstudios.com, and I'd like to introduce you to a new friend. Um, this is Walter II. Some of you uh, familiar with Walter, with the original Walter, the infamous Walter, but uh, this is Walter with, um, you know, a bit, bit more pizzazz. Um, he's all aluminum, all aircraft aluminum, 6061, every single part and piece was milled um, with my own two hands and I've got literally literally hundreds and hundreds of hours um, many 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 hundreds of hours into machining all these parts everything came from a, a solid rod or block or sheet or you know chunk of aluminum and was rough machined and then um, and then turned into its its final part. Um, we'll gander at this a little bit longer, and then we'll jump into the construction. Uh, I, I documented pretty well the build, um, and we'll be jumping right into that pretty soon. But um, this is all he does. He just sits on the desk and looks around. I, I might have future plans for him, but for now, this is the this is the state in which he lives. So, all right, here's the big cinematic, cinematic, uh, cinematic uh, 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 transition and into the CNC. Boom, there's the CNC. Okay, uh, that is my computer-controlled mill. You'll see a lot more of it. Uh, this is the fourth axis. It's a rotary axis for the, for the machine, and this is my lathe, and 99% of everything was made on these three machines. This is the main uh, neck assembly, the main three bevel gears. It starts with math, obviously. This is the first part that I started on. This is my power hacksaw that I also built, and this cuts all of my blanks for me. Um, like these. These are the three rough cut pucks, the blanks. Um, here they are faced and turned with the, the bearings, uh, pockets for the bearings. They're installed on an arbor in the lathe and turned to the various dimensions that they need to be. Here the bevel is applied, and um, they're there. There's kind of a before and after right there. And then, uh, then they move on to the um, CNC. This is in the, the, the fourth axis. This is the rotary axis. So currently the machine is moving from X to Y with what's called an involute cutter. It's a gear cutter. And it cuts not so much teeth of gears, but spaces in between teeth. It's a very specific shape. And uh, it'll make a few passes for depth. And then you, can just, you just saw it. It rotated one tooth, and it will repeat the process. <clears throat> every single gear, um, every tooth sprocket, every spline, everything is made this exact same way with being turned a slight amount, cut, turned a slight amount, cut. Uh, you'll see more of that here um, coming up. This is a super long little clip I used here. Good golly. <laughs> Pretty proud of myself on this. Um, okay, so it's coming up are the, the splines for the, the toothed belts timing belts. So here are the splines all cut on the other side of these gears. Um, here's some video of it being done. Same procedure, but a, a straight cutting bit, a straight cutting end mill that will cut a groove, index it, turn it a little bit, cut a groove, etc. These are the, uh, the the timing gears, timing sprockets that will go, that the, the timing belts, the tooth belts will fit into. But the next procedure is making the shoulders. They need little ears over the the, the sp spliny part here, here they are kind of done, um, but we need little shoulders to keep the belt on. So uh, flat stock, this is just eighth inch, 6061 aluminum, cut some discs rough on the CNC, I cleaned them up on the uh, lathe, and then again, they've, they're here on the, the fourth axis. Um, in this instance, my CNC is in its horizontal mode, so it can actually mill sideways. So this is almost a, f almost a five axis machine. And you can see it's indexing. And right now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm dimpling the shoulders and the gears to, um, uh, to show me where I'm going to later drill, countersink them, and, uh, and tap them so I can screw those shoulders onto the gears. You'll see the finished product here in a second. Um, I left this part in too because I'm pretty proud of the spindle assembly I built. Um, the the thing that actually holds the bit has been improved over and over. This is about my eighth version of a, of a spindle, and this is probably the best one I've done, especially with that tilt. I can do different angles and horizontal, and it's just incredible. So here they are, dimpled and, and kind of center drilled, and then onto the drill press, and they're drilled and tapped and countersunk and screwed on, and boom, 
now there's a little recess for the belt so it won't slip off. Ding! Uh, more of this. This hacksaw worked nonstop on this project, I swear. Uh, it's a little square chunk of doodad, and there it is all um, milled and cleaned up. Uh, this is the center part between the gears, and there it is. That's the first part I finished on this whole project. And I was so proud of this gear assembly. I walked around for days just showing everybody that would listen to me. Um, again, more of this. <laughs> and more blanks and more milling and more parts. Uh, same procedure on all of these. These are the big gears. These were cut on the, on the CNC, then turned on the lathe to the correct diameter. And then here's a time lapse of cutting these gears. Exact same procedure. And here are the main gears all done. Uh, what do we got next here? Where's my little cursor? Oh, uh, these are the main uprights. Um, these are uh, these are the main uprights. This is three quarter inch thick bar stock aluminum. It's four inches wide, and here I'm cutting the little top curve. You can see the the bearing pocket and the little cutout for the motor. Um, but again, everything was done sort of the same way. So we'll get back to. Uh, Seeing Walter too here, Walter Jr. kind of move his head around, and uh, here he is. Um, <clears throat> the The control software, they're just regular old, he's run off of stepper motors, um, and regular st cheap eBay stepper motor drivers. The software is the Arduino running um, teacup software, which is 3D printer software. So this whole mechanism thinks he's a 3D printer, actually two 3D printers to be specific. Um, but I'm sending it just literally X, Y, and Z coordinates um, from a third Arduino, which is the host Arduino sending out commands to the other two. And um, between the X, Y, and Z, he can move in all of his little directions. If the belts go together, he looks up and down. If the belts go opposite, he turns. And then, of course, the main arm can go up and down. So, um, so there you go. Um, that's Walter too. He will be joining me at Maker Fair 2013 in New York. You should come see it. And you should also visit rocketbrandstudios.com and, uh, and check out the stuff I build and stuff that you can build. Um, thanks for watching. Ding!